Hey y'all. This is going to be Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising love reading for October. It's a general reading, so not everything will resonate with everyone. If it resonates, keep it. If it doesn't, leave it. Um, if you do resonate with me and you would like a personal reading, please hit me up uh, at the links in the description box. Also, it is by do donation only. Um, it's appreciated and it's always good to have an even exchange of energy, but it's not required. And there is a link for that in the description box as well. <clears throat> if you do decide to hit me up for personal reading, please include what you're wanting the reading over and how you would like to get the reading by phone, by video chat, or by a, a video. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have some raspiness going on in my voice today. I apologize for that. I hope y'all can still understand me okay. So this will be for Leo for the month of October. Okay, something's hindering your growth, Leo. Possibly too focused on money, possibly an opportunity coming, possibly something that you're trying to bury. Not listening to intuition, possibly some secrets, might be trying to bury those secrets and it's uh, stopping your growth. Lovers coming out in reverse. Okay, so some of you may be having trouble in the relationship that you're currently in, or it's possible that you're out of balance if you're single. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see what else comes out. It's possibly trying to be some secrets buried and this is what's causing the trouble. So it's causing some isolation. Okay. So Leo, for the month of October, let's get some clarification on this. Ace of Rods that did come in reverse. So there's somebody not wanting to take this next, next step or possibly can't take the next step for whatever reason. Stuck, not wanting to see it, not wanting to face it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Being hindered somehow. Three major arcana coming out back to back. Leo. You do get the card for Gemini as well as Virgo. Okay. So there's an ending that needs to happen, but it looks like you don't want to let it happen. This is what is uh, not allowing you to grow. There's been some backstabbing, some deceit, some betrayal. Uh, somebody has really done a number on someone. Either you did this to someone or someone did it to you. It's possibly a mutual thing. It feels very mutual. Now, this doesn't mean that it's actually so, but this is just how someone's perceiving it. It feels like, well, you did this to me, and so I did this to you. Because I feel, I'm feeling very justified in what I've done. Okay? But but not looking over it, I see that it's wrong. 
it was wrong on both parts I know that but but I'm feeling like I had a reason if that makes sense got somebody acted like they got hurt they got somebody did something and it hurt the other person and so the other person did something bad they did it out of revenge and and hurt and then they didn't even think about it they did it and then they thought about it but there's no going back that's for sure Yeah, and it's, it caused this this ugly imbalance in the home, okay? It was emotional. Um, everything is off. Yeah, it's definitely a play on emotion. So now someone got their feelings hurt okay and I don't even know if it was a, a, a correct it almost feels like somebody assumed that somebody was doing something I'm not saying they didn't do it but it doesn't feel like they had solid proof it was like this back and forth in their head like their mind like they were their own worst enemy like they sat and they they thought about it and thought about it and thought about it until they convinced themselves that it happened it might have happened but it doesn't feel like they saw it happen whatever it was but then they went and did something like to get even okay and they didn't really think about it they just did it and then they thought about it after it was done and now it's caused this big emotional um, disruption in the home or in the relationship okay you get two tens in this row so this is definitely a completed cycle I don't know if there's any fixing this because <clears throat> now it feels like it's a tit-for-tat thing P there's some emotional manipulation going on here let me see what I can get with this ace of Pentacles some elaboration on this ace of Pentacles So the um, Four of Rods coming out and then the Nine of Pentacles coming out in reverse overlaying that. Let's see what else I can get. Leo for the month of October. I still feel like somebody's trying to bury the situation. There's something going on with the communication here. And it's like, possibly there's this um, situation involving money. Like it's possible that you're throwing yourself into work, trying to avoid this situation, or that you can't get out of the situation because you don't have the finances to. And it looks like somebody may be overspending in, in an area or they're just not as financially stable and that, uh, you know, as they would like to be or need to be to leave this situation. Let's see what else comes out on that. Seven of Rods. Okay, so there's this definite battle going on. There's a challenge here with communication. And there's this trying... Somebody's trying to bury the situation. Either trying to hide it altogether or act like it never happened. And there's this battle going on. Yeah. 
And the fight may even be over finances. Like maybe somebody feels like somebody doesn't bring enough money in. Although, that's what I'm saying. It feels like a tit for tat. Like whatever happened, now it's just like I feel like there's all these little shit that doesn't matter being brought up. Okay, so someone... Okay, and there's your card, Leo. So someone does not feel like they can move. They feel trapped. And I believe that's because of the finances. They don't feel like they're financially stable enough to go at it on their own. Or if you're married, it's like um, it's going to cost too much or it's going to cost you too much in the end, like splitting everything up or splitting the property up or something like that. <clears throat> you are stronger than what you feel you are. But, again, it, it, and I say this a lot, it, the weak do not surrender, the strong do. And I feel like in this situation, nobody is willing to surrender. No one is really willing to say, I fucked up, you fucked up, let's work it out, or let's go our separate ways. It's like you want to do that, you want to say that, but you're not really willing to because mentally and emotionally there's all this manipulative behavior. Nobody's really willing to let it go. Each time there's a problem or a little like bump in the road, all of this old shit is coming up. And, and, and someone is so, possibly both parties here, are ignoring their intuition okay and and I feel like there is some secrets okay hanged man coming in reverse and then the seven of swords coming in reverse so there is some shit either about to leak or already leaked however i feel like there's more so if this is you and you're having issues and you've already found out some shit be aware um that some more underhanded shit done by your partner is probably about to reveal itself okay because there is somebody that's been trying to bury a situation they've been being deceitful <clears throat> see this little thief in the night but he comes out in reverse so, I feel like, and the hangman in reverse as well, this is a card again that it's a very hasty card. It acts and then it thinks later, if it thinks at all. So there's this definite secret, somebody trying to get away with something, and they may have gotten away with it for a time, um, but some has already been revealed, and and... I urge you to just stay strong, whether this is you, Leo, or your partner, um, because some more is going to come out pretty soon. This is for October, so just be careful, you know, don't, I don't know, I wouldn't be acting, or I'm sorry, reacting quickly three of swords coming out did come out in reverse so somebody's definitely gotten heartbroken like I said in the beginning they convinced themselves that this thing happened and it may have happened or something else happened that they knew about and they thought it was happening again or something else was happening and it's like they convinced themselves that there was more to it or there was more going on or something else happened and they went out and did this vengeful thing somebody here thinks they're getting away with something but they're not the secrets are going to come out maybe not all of them but it's going to be kind of like slowly revealed it's going to come out um, and the three of swords coming out in reverse um, this may be what it takes to start healing. I feel like this has been broken for a long time. And it's causing this yucky depression and isolation. And this it's like causing this weird, um, 
they're telling me like spon spontaneous but I think what they're saying is like it's causing this weird spontaneous behavior and it's not that spontaneous behavior is bad but it's like this particular behavior it's being done out of spite and it's just it's really out of character I don't know it's just it's like a <laughs> not a cry for help well maybe but it's like this weird sort of lashing out feeling at the other person but they can't see that I mean yeah maybe the other person is getting their little feelings hurt or getting upset but in reality this is just hurting yourself yeah and when you let go of this you get the nine of cups okay all your wishes coming through that happy home that that it may be with this person it may not be I, I don't I feel like this particular group that I'm speaking to right now you probably should walk away because it's this tit for tat fucking you did this I did this I'm gonna do this and it's and each person is feeling justified in their behavior because someone did something to me now I'm gonna do something to them so but you can release this okay even if it's just when this when this shit comes out maybe it, you can start to heal and then get what you want from there okay so again this imbalance in the relationship and it within yourself trying to juggle and go back and forth with this thing with this fight with this confrontation but there again I feel like it's this you did this so I'm gonna do this and and you did that so I'm gonna do this okay you did that well now I'm gonna do this however meanwhile nobody wants to sit down and talk about the shit nobody wants to confront the situation head-on Everybody's too busy getting even. Knight of Rods. He's fiery. He's fast moving. He's, um, I don't know, somebody probably had a one night stand and they don't want to confront it. And they're, and possibly even, they've been having some extra shit on the side. And now it's like, the other person is kind of doing that shit too. As I say that, on the bottom of the deck, is the three of uh, cups which to me is always third party so there if somebody got their feelings hurt thought somebody was cheating on them probably probably they were or were on the brink of it some or you know thinking about it really hard so then this person went out and did this even if it may not have been cheating they've been acting yucky so um, so now it's you did this, I'm going to do this, and it's this whole back and forth fucking shit, but nobody wants to sit down and confront the situation head on. Okay. And this is just bad all the way around. It's creating a lot of issues, not just within the relationship, in all aspects of both of your lives. Okay, now it's causing this weird isolation where it's like you don't want to be around anybody probably because you're fucking sad um it's possible that that being isolated too much is part of the problem leo i i don't know but i think leo leo and gemini and cancer keep fucking coming out together now cancer hasn't come out in this reading and i haven't done 
cancer for October yet. I don't think. Um, but Gemini was one of the first cards to come out for Leo in this reading. I haven't done Gemini this month yet either. But um, that, I don't know if that means anything to you. I'd say it's maybe time to walk away. Knight of Swords, yeah, there's somebody that is just being ugly and manipulative and and not thinking right or play, playing mind games. This is, a, this is a whole, you did this, I did this, you're going to do this, I'm going to do this. And this is, again, hindering your growth. You're not going anywhere. You're just stuck. You're just stagnant. It's this financial situation or this property or these things that you have together I don't see anything referring to children particularly but that could be one of the things as well um, yeah and there's so there's options there's options okay and I feel like this is always coming out for Leo here recently so I don't know. At the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. That's what's coming through. So whoever needs to hear it, I feel like keep they keep needing to hear it because I feel like that's what fucking keeps coming out. Okay, let's flip some of these love oracle cards for you, for Leo. For the month of October. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? And I feel like there's no trust in the situation because there can't be. Because there's been too much fucking back and forth. And you're both wrong. I feel strongly that you're both wrong. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We said that was the first thing that came out. Somebody did something. Y'all can't move on because it's like there's too much... Um, property, finance, there's too much investment um, tangible thing wise here to for you at least that you don't think you can go on okay and then the honeymoon comes out honeymoon card comes out enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so Maybe there's some reconciliation or some time together can heal the issues. It's possible. Where are we at? I can't even see the time. Um, we'll pull a few more cards here. See if there's anything else that wants to come through for Leo for the month of October. Ten of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Some fucking financial shit going on here. There is a breakdown of the happy home. It's possible this could be talking to a whole different group altogether. Or it's possible somebody is... Um, maybe one person is wanting some alone time to kind of fix things. Or there may be some type of bliss and enjoyment togetherness on the like not within the union outside of the union at least 
someone's thinking about it because the seven of cups also is is a very like dreamlike illusions and to me when you're thinking about it that hard you ain't got no fucking business in in a committed relationship unless that is an agreement i always say if that is an agreement that you have then by all means do you but I don't feel like that's an agreement, at least not a legit one, because there was a lot of argument surrounding it. There's a lot of uh, problems going on because of it. So if it was an agreement that it's okay, then there wouldn't be the problems coming about because of it. The lovers, again, Gemini card for Gemini coming out in reverse. So this is definitely a broken union, disharmony, um, disruption in the happy home. Okay, there needs to be some balance here, some patience. Again, the High Priestess comes out in reverse. There's some some secrets and uh, it, uh, not following your intuition. And that comes out underneath the finances. So I feel like if you need to leave, if you know you need to leave, if you know you're hindering, and I feel like both parties know that they are holding the other one back because you both deserve true love and you both deserve true happiness. And you know that. And you need to trust that. But you're not. Some clarification on this honeymoon card. Oh, a lot of those came out. Okay, again. Oh, no, no, no. Three of Cups comes out in reverse. Again. So this is what I tell you. Either they're thinking about somebody else really hard and about the good times that they're having with somebody else, or they're straight up having an affair. Or they're thinking about it really hard. There's an injustice being done here. There's this competition. This is a third party. Man, you know what it is. I don't need to even elaborate. You know what the fuck's up. That's your reading, Leo. I love you. I love you so much. But I give it to you as I get it. And that's what I've gotten the past few readings for Leo. So if this resonates with you, if you want a personal reading, again, hit me up in the description box below. Um, if you know your sun, moon, and rising. I'm sorry, your moon and rising. This is your sun, moon, and rising. But I'm pretty sure you're watching it for your sun. Uh, but if you know your moon and rising, go check out those other videos as I get them loaded, and I will see you next time.